Hey, and thanks for checking out this video. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to write the formulas for type 1 ionic compounds. And we know that ionic compounds um, are, is a compound that has a metal and a non-metal in them. So the very first thing that we do when we're looking at the steps for formula writing is to first write the symbol and charge for the metal. After we've done that, we can write the symbol and charge for the non-metal. And once we have the charges, if those two charges add up to zero, then you're done writing the formula. And if the two charges do not add up to zero, then we do what we call the crisscross method here. Um, you crisscross the charges and add the subscripts. That's what I'm going to show you in the second example down below. So the very first thing we're going to do is if we're looking at the example of magnesium oxide here, I'm going to follow the steps that I outlined above. And the very first thing it says to do is write the symbol and charge for the metal. So here uh, I'm looking at my metal being um, magnesium, like you can see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write the symbol out, Mg. Its charge is 2 plus since it's in group 2. And for the next step, I'm writing the symbol and charge for the nonmetal. My nonmetal is oxide here. Um, it's actually oxygen as the element, but oxide means that it's uh, the ion form, it's charged, and it is O2 minus. And you can see here that the step three says, if the two charges add up to zero, and we're talking about these being our two charges, so I can show that work over here, plus two, um, plus negative two, those do equal zero, so that's true, um, then you're finished writing the formula. And we would write the correct formula out for magnesium oxide as MgO, and we'd be done. For the second example, though, we're asked to look and write the formula for aluminum sulfide. So let's, again, start with that. Let's look first at the metal here being aluminum. It's found to the left of the staircase. Um, for example, the very first step we do is write the symbol and charge for the metal. So um, AL is the symbol and the charge is 3 plus since it's in group 13. Sulfide is going to be our nonmetal, and I'm highlighting that in red. So I'll write that symbol and charge out in red as well. Sulfide is S and we have a 2 minus charge. If I was to look at those, I can see that plus 3 and minus 2, those do not add up to 0. So I am going to do what's called the crisscross method, where I take the charge on the metal, and I take the charge on the nonmetal. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to crisscross that so that the number comes down, and that is going to be the um, subscript that says how many atoms are in my individual um, elements in the compound. Okay, so this now becomes, as my final formula, Al2S3. So I can go back and look at this just to make sure I've done everything correct and everything works out. And I can say, alrighty, so take a different color font here, al 2 S3. Right now I have three sulfurs and the charge on each sulfur is two minus. That would give me an overall minus six charge. For aluminum, I have two aluminums. The charge on each aluminum is three plus. This would give me a positive six charge. So we know that Al2S3 is going to be our final formula. So there you go. I hope that video helped. If it did, please be sure to subscribe to the How To Scholar, give it a thumbs up, and let us know what video ideas you'd like to see. We really appreciate you watching, and have a great day.